Welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we're embarking on a journey through Somalia's architectural wonders and infrastructure marvels. From ancient landmarks to the complex routes of modern transportation, we'll explore it all. And if we happen to stray off course, we'll just say we're discovering new lands. Plus, don't forget, you can create your own map with us and enter it for a chance to win this season's prize pack. So let's dive in and chart our course to learning. Somalia's architecture is a fascinating blend of cultural influences, reflecting its rich history and diverse heritage. The ancient city of Mogadishu, often referred to as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean, showcases a remarkable array of historic buildings. The Fark Ad Din Mosque, dating back to 1269, is a prime example of Islamic architecture with its intricate carvings and beautiful minaret, highlighting the city's historical prominence as a trade hub. Moving to a more contemporary structure, the National Theater of Somalia, built in 1967, stands as a symbol of modern Somali architecture. Although it has faced destruction and reconstruction over the years, it remains a cultural beacon in Mogadishu embodying resilience and creativity. Somalia also showcased modern architectural expressions through various structures. One prominent example is the Jazeera Palace Hotel in Mogadishu, boasting contemporary design with clean lines and a refined aesthetic. Another notable site is the Somali National University, which not only serves as an educational institution, but also stands as a testament to modern architectural sensibilities, providing space for academic and cultural activities. Somalia's traditional architecture is rich and diverse, reflecting its long history and cultural influences. In regions like Zelia, Berbera, and Mogadishu, ancient stone houses and castles exhibit intricate designs and craftsmanship, often featuring coral stone and lime mortar which showcase both durability and aesthetic appeal. The Aqual Somali, a traditional nomadic hut, is made from wooden branches and covered with woven mats, designed for easy dismantling and transportation, reflecting the, the nomadic lifestyle of many Somali people. In rural areas, houses are often constructed using mud and wattle techniques, typically circular with thatched roofs made from grass or palm leaves, providing good insulation against the harsh climate. Urban areas, especially mosques, reflect Islamic architectural styles with ornate geometric patterns, arabasques, and courtyards. Vernacular architecture in Somalia uses locally available materials and traditional construction techniques tailored to the environment and cultural practices. This style includes features like flat roofs to collect rainwater and thick walls to keep interiors cool. Additionally, Somalia is home to numerous historic mosques and tombs, which incorporate unique local styles with broader Islamic architecture, serving as important cultural and religious landmarks. In addition to these traditional and historical structures, Somalia's architecture also includes the influence of Italian colonial rule, visibly in many of its urban buildings. These Italian-era constructions feature characteristics such as arched windows, colonnades, and stucco facades, blending European style with local materials and designs. Somalia's architectural landscape is further enriched by significant historical sites such as the ruins of Gondersh, an ancient Somali city known for its stone houses and fortifications, and the town of Hafun, home to the remains of an ancient trading post that dates back to the classical antiquity period. Another remarkable site is the fortress of Ahmed, located in the Awdal region, which provides insight into medieval Somali urban planning and defense strategies. Moreover, the cultural importance of architecture is evidence in the design of Somali marketplaces or sucks, where the layout and structure 
facilitate both social interaction and economic activity. These marketplaces are often characterized by cover walkways, large open spaces, and strategically positioned stalls that reflect the traditional trading practices of Somali society. The influence of Islamic architecture is also prominently seen in the use of geometric patterns and calligraphy, especially in the design of doorways, windows, and interior spaces. These artistic elements are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also carry cultural and religious significance, reflecting the deep Islamic heritage of the region. The modern urban landscape of cities like Hargeisa and Garo showcases a blend of traditional and contemporary architectural styles. Buildings in these cities often feature a mix of high-rise constructions and traditional homes, symbolizing the growth and modernization of Somali urban centers. Furthermore, the coastal cities of Boseso and Kismayo are known for their maritime architecture, which include lighthouses and port facilities that have historically supported Somalia's significant role in regional trade. These structures are often built to withstand harsh maritime condi conditions using materials and techniques that have been perfected over centuries. Through these various styles and influences, Somalia's architecture not only serves functional purposes but also tells the rich story of its people, their lifestyle, and their history from ancient times through colonial periods and into the modern era. This diverse architectural heritage is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Somali people, as well as their ability to integrate various cultural influences into a unique and cohesive architectural identity. Now that we've covered buildings, let's move into transportation. Somalia boasts a significant road network spanning approximately 15,000 kilometers interlinking various regions across the nation, with a concentration of major roads around key water corridors and inland towns. Among the notable features of Somalia's road infrastructure are the five major roads serving a primary transportation arteries, connecting major ports like Mogadishu, Berbera, Boseso, and Kismayo to inland towns. One prominent highway extends for 750 kilometers, linking major cities in the northern parts of Somalia, such as Boseso and Galkeo and Gara, with southern towns. Despite the critical role of these roads, the overall road conditions are generally poor due to years of civil unrest and inadequate maintenance. Recent reports, such as the inauguration of major roads in Mogadishu reflect ongoing endeavors to enhance the transportation network. The road network's importance in facilitating the movement of goods and people across Somalia underscores the significance of ongoing rehabilitation and expansion er efforts. Rail transportation in Somalia holds historical significance, although it's not currently operational. The Mogadishu Villabruzi Railway, built during the 1910s in Italian Somaliland, featured a track gauge of 950 millimeters, which was typical for Italian colonies in Africa. This railway connected Mogadishu to the Shebel River agricultural settlements that, and was extended to the Villa Bruzi, now Jauhar, by 1927. Additionally, the De Cotcherville Railways, a minor railway with a 600 millimeter gauge known as the Gino Afgoy, connected the farming settlements of Genau with Afgoy. However, the railway system was dismantled in the 1940s by the British during their military occupation and was never rehabilitated. Plans for a rail connection between Mogadishu and Addis Ababa were also abandoned due to the outbreak of World War II. Currently, Somalia has no active railway services and its transportation infrastructure primarily relies on roads and ports. On the topic of ports, Somalia's ports are crucial to its trade and economy. 
The ports of Mogadishu, the largest and busy, busiest in the country, serves as a pivotal point for both domestic and international trade. Berbera, situated in the northwest, acts as a vital gateway for trade in that region, handling various goods, particularly livestock and agricultural products. The port of Kismayo, located in the south, is a smaller port, mainly facilitating local and regional trade, including agricultural produce and seafood. Despite differences in size and capacity, each of these ports plays a crucial role in Somalia's commerce, connecting the country to global markets and supporting local industries. Aden Aid International Airport in Mogadishu stands as the busiest airport in Somalia and serves as a hub for Somali airlines. It accommodates both international and domestic flights boasting modern facilities capable of handling a significant volume of passengers and cargo. Hargeisa Agao International Airport, situated in the capital of Somaliland, holds historical significance and plays a crucial role in connecting northern Somalia with other regions, supporting international and domestic flights while contributing significantly to the region's tourism and commerce. These airports serve as vital gateways connecting Somalia with the rest of the world, facilitating economic growth and providing travel opportunities for both residents and visitors. Somalia is committed to enhancing its transportation infrastructure with projects like the Barbera Hargeisa Corridor Improvement Project aimed at improving connectivity and boosting economic activities in the region. Additionally, international support, such as the African Development Bank's funding, plays a crucial role in advancing infrastructure projects in the country. Transportation in Somalia faces a myriad of challenges and opportunities, as outlined in recent news and reports. On the downside, the country's transportation infrastructure has been severely impacted by decades of conflict and instability, impeding access and development. Political instability, exemplified by ongoing security challenges and governance issues, has stymied efforts to improve transportation systems. Despite these hurdles, there are promising prospects. International investments have played a pivotal role in Somalia's transportation infrastructure, aiding the country in its efforts to rebuild and modernize its roads, ports, and airports, and other transportation facilities. Notably, Somalia received a significant boost with a $58 million International Development Assistance or IDA grant from the World Bank, marking a first in decades for the country. This funding aims to develop regional transportation infrastructure, assisting Somalia in establishing capacities to plan for, implement, and manage the sector. Ports like Berbera and Mogadishu have seen substantial investments, with UAE company DP World Investing committing over $400 million in Berbera port improvements and cargo transit routes, while the port of Mogadishu is managed by Turkish company Al Barak. Interest also exists in developing smaller port ports like Habyoy and Garakad. Somalia's major airports have been part of the investment drive with efforts to regain Class A airspace classification after more than 30 years. These investments are critical to Somalia's economic growth, facilitating trade, community, connectivity, and integration into the regional economy. As we conclude our tour of Somalia's architecture, we're inspired by the nation's enduring spirit cultural wealth, and unwavering pursuit of progress. I can't wait to dive into other aspects of the country next week for our next Somalia episode. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus material on all our subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.